and now while coming to the present content of the video so we are going to discuss about the amendments or changes in the prime minister's uh, research uh, fellows that is pmrf so on 11th september 2018 so few guidelines are provided and again these guidelines are revised in may 2020 so first we will see whatever the eligibility criteria are there in the 2018 then i will i will take you to the may 2020 amendments so here if you check the eligibility in the previous uh, pmrf uh, scheme uh, completed or be pursuing the final year of four year undergraduate or five year integrated mtech or five year integrated msc or two year msc or a five year undergraduate or postgraduate dual degree program in science and technology streams from IISC, IITs, NITs, IASCR, and IAEST and centrally funded IIITs. Okay, and these candidates should have secured at least 8.0. So, as per this eligibility mentioned uh, here, uh, the candidate must have uh, completed or pursuing their education in these colleges only. Okay, in these colleges or else the centrally funded IIITs with the CGP or CPI 8.0 on the 10 point scale must be there. So it is a one eligibility. And while coming to the second eligibility, here R is given, completed or be pursuing the final year of uh, four year undergraduate or five year integrated MTech or five year integrated MSc or uh, two year MSc or five year undergraduate or postgraduate dual degree programs in science and technology stream from any other institute or university recognized in india not covered in 2a above these candidates should have secured a minimum cgp of 8 or equivalent part from a minimum score of 750 in the respective gate subject right so if any candidates are pursuing or finish their education other than these colleges okay so other than these colleges then definitely they must have the uh, cgp of 8 or minimum 750 gate score must be there so it is a one eligibility and coming to the next eligibility is qualified gate and be pursuing or have completed mtech or ms by research at iits iisc iascr and having a minimum cgp or cp of 8.0 on the 10 point scale at the end of the first semester with a minimum of four courses so these are the qualifications uh, so here also it is giving the opportunity the in the in this uh, third point the candidates who qualified the gate and pursuing the mtech or ms by research at these colleges only okay and they must have the cgpa score of 8.0 on the 10 point scale so total these are the three different types of eligibilities to get the prime minister research fellowship and now while coming to the present after doing the amendments in may 2020 so these amendments are came here so what are the amendments are there means so mainly the two things here i want to focus that completed or be pursuing the final year of bachelor's or a master's degree in science and technology stream from any of the institute or university recognized in india with cgpa 8.0 okay that means here the first modification is uh, in the previous uh, 2018 they mentioned that the candidates must have educated or completed or pursuing only from these colleges or else if the candidates are not uh, educated or completed from these colleges then they must have the cgp of 8.0 and 750 gate score must be there but right coming to i mean uh, right now coming to the present amendments the candidate must be completed or pursuing from any of the indian institute or university recognized by the india it is modified and the cgp is maintained as it is 8.0 or above and gate score of 650 so it is also modified 650 here the previous gate score they are asking the 750 but right now it is reduced to 650 score gate score okay so mainly these are the two amendments that i want to uh, focus that the changed uh, as per the amendments uh, in the pmrf fellowships scheme okay so the candidates who belongs to these uh, qualifications so please try to apply to the prime minister research fellowship it will be very helpful for your uh, full-time uh, research and while coming to the scholarship how much amount of scholarship you are going to get that i am going to show you right now see total five years you are going to get maximum five years in the year one seventy thousand rupees per month 
in the year 2 also 70000 rupees per month and in the year 3 75000 rupees per month and in year 4 80000 rupees per month and in year 5 also 80000 rupees per month so apart from this fellowship you are going to get a a research grant of 2 lakhs per year that means over all the 5 years you will get the research grant of 10 lakh rupees apart from this scholarship amount okay so it is a very good opportunity to the candidates who are having this qualification that means uh, pursuing or completed their undergraduation or post graduation in science and technology stream in any india recognized institute or university with a cgpa 8.0 or gate score more than 650 try to apply this one don't miss this opportunity okay so it is updated that i want to provide you through this video from my channel for more updates please subscribe and then tap the bell icon thank you